everybody. Uh, just got this in today. It's a uh, Mech Fan Toys uh, Iron Sentinel. It's a basically their version of Omega Supreme. Um, Defense Fortress. I don't know. I think on the, the listing for this on eBay it said Iron Dragon or something like that as the name. Either way, it's the supposed to be a supposedly a uh, Diaclone compatible or Mech Fan Toys uh, Lost Planet compatible uh, Omega Supreme. So I'm actually really excited about this because I've been holding off. I've been wanting to get an Omega Supreme, one of these third-party Omega Supremes. I've been holding off and holding off, and then this one is from Mech Fan Toys, and they they from what I can tell based on uh, you know early early images and stuff it's supposed to be somewhat diaclone compatible so that's that's kind of big for me because i do a, a lot of diaclone stuff and so i bought this and i'm really excited about it um we've got i can't read this <laughs> but it says it's the uh it's a little turret mode it's got the rocket base mode it's got the train track mode the little train car thing and it's got these diaclone gun mode quad walking thing mode so um I'm pretty pretty darn excited. Um, on the sides, we've got some got the pictures of the orange. I don't think it comes with the orange guy, but pictures of an orange. I think that came with their version of um, Devastator construction robot guy. So there's, it, I guess it comes with the backpack and the what are these DA? Oh, I think home DA12 and DA13. I don't know if those are the same numbers as on the original Diaclone, but a DA12 and a DA13, the little dart loader and the little flying thing jetpack thing so it comes with both of those and apparently cargo boxes um but yeah uh this is supposed to be the more diaclone colors one they also have the regular yellow and black motif one uh, let's see if we can see this there we got gun mode a little thing mode and we got the uh walking turret gun mode thing and uh, you can see that there, there's a uh, little reactor, rocket launcher type thing. Um, so yeah, uh, back in the box. Let's see what's on the back. Oh, he's pretty cool looking. Um, that's the, uh, he's got the train tracks on the back like normal. He's got the big gun arm and the claw arm and the, you know. And so here's a front view, back view. We've got the uh, the turret mode. It looks like you can put one of your Dia, Dianaut robot guys on there. Another one here and then the uh, train track uh, rocket base mode and then just because I wanted to point this out I've, I've got this right here this is the uh, I can't remember if it's DA01 or DA02 uh, KO mech fan toys version of that in blue and white that came with um, I think it was a their version of uh, six switch or quick switch or you know the one that changes into the six the six guy the guy that changes into six six gun guy um their version of that and it's in ultra magnus colors so that's pretty cool or you know what i assume are ultra magnus colors i'm hoping this matches up with this because this is blue and gray and this is blue and white um so yeah i'm gonna see how that goes and that'll be my little test my little test guy so let's uh let's get in there um I have to find my knife real quick. So this this came all the way from China and it got crushed a little bit. And you can, there's some, a little bit of crushing. It was packed in foam really well. I bought it from the same guy I always buy from. I buy this stuff from in China. Um, fantastic seller. Uh, the box got a little bit crushed, but not their fault. It got here super fast, so that was cool. Um, our standard warning. You gotta say it every time. Disclaimer. If you're under the age of 18, you have to be careful when you use one of these knives so you don't cut your hand open. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so we're going to get in there and cut this open. There we go. This is really exciting. Um, since I haven't opened this before, I haven't played with one of these before, um, I'm going to just have a quick disclaimer beyond my normal disclaimer about the knife um, that... Uh, I haven't transformed it before, so if I can't transform it, that's just, you know, that's how it is. <laughs> oh. 
pop the box back in here in the background. There we go. There's the box. Let's see. I like that side better with the, uh, the face on it. Anyways, let's get this uh, all in here so that we can uh, have a better view here. Okay, we've got paperwork. We've got some foam that I'm guessing the seller packed in there. Maybe not. Maybe it came that way. Um, here's the tray. We've got the guy. We've got two cargo boxes for the uh, the uh, the little robots. I don't know if that's the color there. I was hoping these would be blue, but the cases. But I guess the cases are gray. Um, got the uh, little head thing there. Got the two guns. Pretty cool. These are in blue. the dart loader and the and the little spaceship are in blue, so that's cool. Okay, and we've got uh, some instructions. We got how to set everything up. That's a clear figure. I would like to have that. <laughs> I don't think that exists in real life. So, but if it did, that would be really cool. So we've got um, here's how you hook the guns in. They kind of hook in in a different way than we're used to with the diaclone stuff. Maybe there's a second thought. They didn't originally think they were going to do that. Um, lots of instructions. Uh, I'll get into these at some point and figure out how to transform it all, and I'll try to do a video on that. That's important. We can put the the, the uh, train tracks on. Anyways, so we got that. Let's get into this package here. Again, you know, be careful. Don't cut your hand open with the uh, with the uh, box cover. Uh, Cut away also. You're technically supposed to cut away from yourself. I've been cutting toward myself. It's not the best move. You know, you don't want to cut your hand open. You end up with uh, lifelong scars. There we go. I guess I'll chop this off too. Cut. Cut. There we go. Got it. Woohoo! Close the knife back up. You know, standard stuff. Let's get this out of here. There's the guy. He's pretty rad. He's uh he's stylish. Um, we've got these big guns, which I don't know how to attach those. I think they're probably just the same as the standard. Uh, yeah, they're just basically just the standard uh, diaclone arms, arm guns, gun arms. Yeah, they're just the basic standard gun arms, but they're in blue, so that's cool. It's new and stylish and fun. Um, we've got the head right here. It's a little tiny truck. It's a little tiny tank. It's got a little face in there. I don't know if the face folds up or anything. Oh, it does stuff. Oh, oh my. Well, I'm guessing that's how it becomes the head. That's cool. So you fold the little treads back. The treads don't have any actual rollers on them, and you pop up the head, and then you've got yourself a head, body, head. And I guess you could just probably put it right. Let's see here. Just kind of, I don't know how it goes, but somehow you pop it in there. Let's see here. There we go. Pop that little. Oh, we've got cookies. We've got cookie ratchets. Oh, that's nice. That's awesome. That's nice. Yeah, the quality's good on this so far. Um, oh, cool. You just put the head in like that. You just, once you fold it, you can just put it inside the chest like that. And you can just click it shut. And there you go. He's the guy now. That's cool. Oh, those pop up. Oh, cool. He's got missile launcher pods inside his shoulders. That's cool. His arms click. He's got the gun arm. He's got the pinchy claw. Pinchy hand thing. That's pretty great. So pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, very cool. Good quality plastic. Um, it feels a little bit less. What do you call it? Less high quality. Less, less of the same quality, the high quality that I'm used to with the Mechfan toy stuff. Um, but maybe that's because it's a bigger figure. We've got the ramps, they fold out, it looks like. They've got the double hinge on the thing. There we 
and just hold that. Oh, don't drop it. Don't drop it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, I totally did drop it. Um, unfold it, and I'm guessing you just put it in the back like this. There's little little ledges there for it. Just pop them in, and it looks like it has a double ledge actually. So you can just pop it in. There you go. He's got his his big giant um, things there. So there he goes. He's got his his uh, whole. So there he goes. He's got his. So there he goes. He's got his whole setup there with the uh, the head and everything. Let's see if we can get this to. Uh, there we go. There we go. He's got the little head. It turns. His arms go up and down. Shoulder joint rotation. Uh, fingers all open on the pinchy claw. Um, does any of that rotate? No, it doesn't rotate. Um, we've got the uh, same thing on the other side. Nothing rotates over here. I'm not seeing anything specific. Um, chest pop, chest pops open, as we showed before. If I can get it to pop. Haha. <laughs> there we go. Pop the sh chest open. Um, shoulders pop open with rocket launchers. Uh, let's see. Elbow, or, uh, hips, front and back, left, up and down, rotate, or swivel, or whatever you call it, knee bend. Let's see if the foot moves. Foot moves left to right. It's got like a pivot, but no front to back, it looks like. But it does have a toe. It goes up and down. So that's cool. Um, let's see what else. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that pops down. So that's cool. I don't know what, if that's for something. I'm guessing it's probably for something for the transformation. Um, but yeah, very cool figure so far. Um, he's got these little cargo boxes that have the little... Now I have these in the military, the military colors from the original di the, the original ones, the Diaclone line. But I have not opened them yet or assembled them. Um, so I haven't actually seen one of these in real life. So this is my first time with this. Um, these are kind of like a... I know these are like a repro version, but it's still pretty cool to check them out. Um, painted silver paint. Um, very cool. Does that rotate? It might rotate. Might not rotate. I'm guessing it doesn't rotate. But anyways, that's cool. Definitely digging the, uh, the, uh, I have no idea how to fold this back up. <laughs> oh man, I just got myself in trouble. I'm not gonna be able to fold it back up. Okay, well, you know what? If I don't figure it out in the next 10 seconds, I'll just figure it out later. See like that maybe or something and then I don't know. I don't know how this works. <laughs> got the little machine guns. You know what? I'm gonna put this on the guy and then we'll see if the how the color matches. This guy. This guy didn't come with it, but he has similar colors. So we'll see how that goes. Styling pretty well. The color's not quite a match. This is more of a diaclone, standard diaclone, vintage diaclone blue. And this guy is more of like a bright blue. So they don't quite match up, but you know, you do what you gotta do. And let's see, we've got the other one right here. This is the dart loader, I think is what it's called. I never played with this one either, so let's see how this goes. I guess these are supposed to turn into like feet, right? Okay, there's the feet part. Um, something. I, I don't know. They fold around. It turns into a little truck normally, and then you like pop these arms out, and it's like bomb squad robot type of thing. There we go. There's like a little bomb squad robot. It's got little claws. The claws are actually in a, ah, in a little packet right here on the back of the plastic. There's a little packet with all the little extra pieces and transformer logos and, you know, all the little connectors. So, yeah, they're all in there. Um, we've got the little... So, there are pinchy claws and stuff to go in there and knives and all sorts of fun little pieces of equipment. Can put this on here. He's going to have some... Roller skates. He needs robot roller skates. 
There we go. Just put his foot in there. Put his other foot. Oh, that's the wrong one. Put his other foot right here. Just kind of slides in. Goes into the. From what I can tell, it goes into there like that. You just slide it forward until it fits, and then you pop his foot into the little. There's a little ledge. There you go. Now he's got roller skates, so he can go skating or sledding down a hill. <laughs> Pretty cool. Definitely digging that um, aspect of this. Uh, I don't know where these would go in this mode. <laughs> I guess you could put them on top. I mean, if you didn't have the backpack on, let's see here. Let's just take off the the air the jet pack. You can put these on top. Have like a little gun pack thing going on. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, definitely digging that. Um, now I can be a combat guy. And then we've got the uh, the big robot, obviously. Um, let's get him back in here. And then for size comparison, we get the uh, the old G1 uh, Ultra Magnus in there with my little my custom custom seat that I that I came up with custom seat I came up with um, that fits right in the the top without removing anything. It just goes straight on there. Side plug, gotta gotta plug my stuff. Anyways, so yeah, you can put the helmet on there. That's cool. Anyways, that's how big that is. We've got our Cosmo Maneuver, DA06 Cosmo Maneuver, which Mech Fan Toys is supposed to be coming out with one pretty soon. Don't know how that's going to go. We'll see. And then, for size comparison, because this is the one I was really wondering about, it's Big Powered. Got to put Big Powered in there. And Big Powered is much taller. I thought they'd be maybe like an inch difference, but it looks like it's about two inches or like five centimeters, four or five centimeters. He's way bigger. There. Oh, don't fall over. There we go. So much, much, much bigger than uh, this Mech Fan Toys uh, Iron Sentinel uh, Diaclone Omega Supreme Omega Sentinel figure. Um, but still a pretty good scaling between them. Like if you, you put all the current Diaclones, current style Diaclone stuff, that, that's actually a pretty good size curve. Um, not too bad of a transition between. So he fits in a really good spot in between the the big, big diaclone stuff and the um, not so big diaclone stuff, which is nice to fill in that gap. Um, yeah, so that, that's a nice size comparison. Uh, very cool figure. I will get into him more once I figure out how to transform him. <laughs> I have no idea how to do it. Hopefully I'll have time to post a uh, follow-up where I transform him, or at least talk about the base mode. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching.